I'm trying to make a uh, working wheel car system using O gauge size vehicles. Obviously, of course, I'm using O gauge figures. So obviously, it's based on the railway, based on something miniature. So, of course, the train is smaller than we are. And uh, making a, like a track out of a. Uh, like getting a theme park, you get a car, sit on car, follow along the track, and it goes along with electricity. But this is going to be working by, hopefully by a string. Have the string run through between the rails and pull the wheels along, back and forth on the pavement. Think about having a road train go along, or even a horse tram or a traction engine or anything like that. We're going to have a carpool trailer along with the train back and pick up as well. This is the thing about making a station here. Yeah? That big space there. I mean, a big bit of green there. We can even have a can easily have a station there, or a road train easily. I'm still just giving an idea. I'm using actual double rail, <laughs> double rails, and use very small string. And hopefully, it'll because um, the way the rails are, with grooves in them, grooves hold the uh, string in place. It pulls the vehicle along by a uh, working motor. I'm still hoping I'm going to do the same with H2, with the go back and forth by motor as well. And also with the engine shed, train goes, train goes here and down here. The motor's behind the shed, which is uh, there somewhere. Uh, there it is. Still building it. I have a motor there as well, and here's the uh, poor train into the shed. And that's the that's the new bit. So there's the H thing goes see goes around the back there, it'll disappear. This this end it'll be behind a back background. This bit will be open. And this is what's it, it goes around the English one comes around there, it'll disappear. And basically you'll obviously like see it reappear. The double gauge track and double gauge size also you can run double gauge trains on as well. So working cars, working in those trains, and working double trains. And be some light signals as well. Oh, got some points as well. I don't know if I've ever made the points operational by uh, switches and that. One, I got operated by a hand lever. The uh, one the box there. Yeah, basically she's using double gauge track. Hmm. And the string will run through, as you see the oh, down there, run through the grooves of the rails. And pull pull pull, pull a vehicle along course it because they're nice and flat, so of course you won't catch the uh, cars that goes along. Do something like that. Pull it along my string, the, the grooves of the rails. And also get more of this paint because I need to repaint the uh, paving here. <laughs> so I want to get more of that paint. I've got to repaint over the rails. So they're blending with the, the rails. Will, the rails will blend in with the, with the footpath and on the grass as well. Paint over the green paint. So they will blend in because you don't see them. You don't want to see those like that. They're blending with the paint. With the I paint over them. Of course, you won't really see it at all. Well, you would see if you look down here. If you look down here, you see the grooves. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased with this. <laughs> Got to think of myself there. Oh, sorry, madam. It was different since size of that cutout of meat. What was that? <laughs> Of a high heel sign, that was husband. And I'm also going to use a bit of paper underneath. I thought a good way for the figures. Obviously, fold them down where it goes into the case. Put a bit of paper on the floor, whatever on the place them. Put paper on the on the board. Stick the other half. 
to figure so it'll stay in place and do that. And that's a really good idea for there. So anyway, I can do it because the figure's so tall, it'll be too tall that it goes in the case, so it has to fall down. But also, at least it can stay in their place. Not just the cars, I was thinking about having uh, any sorts, I can have like, all sorts of events, not just, uh, not just cars going up and down. Well, even the road train and that. <laughs> Um, we even have a festival, but well, so we have a background here of the background along this bit here. Or the thing going along. Of the background gets across. There will be, I'll be using, I'll be using tree backgrounds, or actually a rock wall, which will be, they will have there to cover that up on the side. On the, on the side. As well, I mean, it's, a, it's it's a lot to take into mind, but it's a, it, it, will, it will work. I'm also very pleased with this one here I put here as well. Got notes more than the leaf on this one because that's your Hernhill sign because I took cut out of cover Hern Hill with notes board, it looks very nice if I'm going to join when it's there. It looks very nice actually. And uh, see you next update.